I am so excited to have you here with me today. If you are new here, then welcome. And if you are not new here, then welcome back. The title of this video will be a bit of a spoiler, but like today, oh my, oh! Today is just a day I never thought would happen. I never dreamed would happen. The whole thing just feels so surreal. So right now it's half nine, I'm in London. I've just been for breakfast. Uh, in my hotel and I'm gonna be leaving in about half an hour to head to the AGM of AAT. So for anybody that doesn't know, the AGM is the annual general meeting for the amazing charity and professional body, which is AAT. So AGMs are actually open to everybody. You can attend it in person or remotely. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. And I would definitely encourage anybody um, who is a member of AAT to attend, have your input, like see what is happening behind the scenes of the professional body that we all work so hard to get into. So it's the AGM first, and then we've got the board meeting, the board meeting, is the juicy bit for me today. So at today's board meeting, I'm going to be officially elected as a director and trustee of AAT. I just, oh, I feel a bit emotional. I was the kid that like failed, failed AAT exams and like I really, really struggled to do them. For me, AAT was a really difficult time everyone around me like it felt like everybody around me was passing all of their exams first time and all my friends were at university and I did it as an alternative to university and like it was actually just really really hard the purpose and the mission behind accountancy and like who I am and what I do is all about bringing financial education to people who needed it the most and like I was that person and when I was doing AAT I didn't have anyone to look up to that felt like an older sibling that could support me and guide me through the process of trying to become an accountant. I say trying because at some point I was convinced it would never happen. And so what I've tried to do with accountancy is to build the platform that I wish I had and like needed when I was doing my exams. And for me, like to become a director of AAT, like really, it's so easy to say things. Like it's, it's 2022, LinkedIn police are everywhere. Like it's so easy to say things and like actually not enough of us do things and like this is me doing something you know like making it better improving the industry making things regulated encouraging people like motivating people inspiring people future imposter syndrome even just saying that but like this is such a huge step like if when I was doing AAT I could see me on a board like making change, making decisions, bringing improvements, like encouraging people, being an advocate, being a brand ambassador, like that would have changed the entire qualification for me. And so I just, oh God, I just feel really proud and like excited. And I really, there's so much power in just feeling represented. As a young woman, as somebody that failed exams, like I am, you like I was a student that struggled I was the student that couldn't afford to study and sort of just bore the books and muddled through myself like I didn't have support I didn't have a great employer and like everything I've tried to do with my business and with this brand so far has been about like creating all of the things that I didn't have as an employer as an advocate as an ambassador for like encouraging people into accountancy as a career and so this is the start you know like this is this isn't an accomplishment on its own this is the start into what comes next and what comes next is so exciting um i have accepted a three-year term on on the board of aat um and i would love for it to continue beyond that i have been elected or i'm going to be elected as an independent member and so for the next three years uh, four times a year i will be attending board meetings agms and really just trying to drive create amazing change within the industry within the qualification within the profession and to just like advocate you like when i was doing aat i didn't feel like there was somebody i could go to that was like approachable and friendly and like listen to me and listen to what i think and like through content creation on youtube instagram TikTok, like i hear you all like you are in my dms you are commenting on videos like it's not that long ago that i was doing aat myself and so 
I hear you and I listen to you and so to be able to like take all of the feedback and comments and quest questions like so many questions when I was doing AAT I had questions about everything and like just making the answers easy to find is such an important part of what I'm doing and so to be able to capture all of that and like go to board meetings and say like we are all out of touch like we need to be listening to the people who are doing it now like what the pain points are what the problems are what questions they have and oh this is a huge day and so often we let things like this pass us by and like I do I'm really guilty of it like you let these milestones pass you by without like documenting them or talking about them or celebrating them enough and so I just wanted to sort of document how I feel today I as with everything we do we'll be bringing you guys with me on this journey and so this is for you it, it's for me when I was younger like I just all I've ever wanted to be is like the role model in finance that I didn't have and I'm not doing it alone today there are people who you will know uh, like big names within the industry are we're all working together to make this happen and to bring the change that we really need. Always I'll bring you behind the scenes. I didn't want to vlog anything today um, because it is a really big moment and I actually just wanted to like pause and take it all in. And from a professional standpoint, I really need to find my feet and find where the sweet spot is between like bringing things behind the scenes, but also maintaining a professional relationship, confidentiality and um, all of those things. And so I didn't want to vlog today. I wanted to sort of like talk to you and tell you um, for my own sanity, I have to concentrate on today and, and not vlog it. Um, but in the future, I have. It, it would be so amazing to show you guys like what it's like to be a board member, to encourage you to do the same. You know, AAT is a charity. It is operated by a board um, for making decisions and advocating change. And I'm so proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much for sitting and listening to me waffle on and have a little cry. But it's important to like cry about it because I am so proud and emotional and. It's such a huge milestone, like crying is good. Like every single board member should be crying. Like that that's how important this is. <sighs> Alrighty, I need to go. Next time you see me, I'll be an official director of AAT. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.